When it comes to clothes, I am a comfy, cozy, mix and match type of a girl. Um, I like to be able to take one thing and wear it with lots of different other items. And I found a bunch of pieces like that from Kohl's. I grabbed these Utility Moto pants in the camo a couple weeks ago. I've worn them so many times. I love them so much because they are so comfortable. So that's number one that I, I have to be comfortable. Number two, they are stretchy, which is also a must. They're pants, but they feel like leggings. So like I want them in every color. I wanted to share these pants two different ways because they, I wanted to show you how versatile they are. Uh, the white button down in the slides and a tank top, they looked really cute with that. And they also look really cute with this Columbia hoodie and sneakers pieces that I grabbed recently was this Marilyn Monroe t-shirt. I've worn this a couple of times. It has the best fit. It is so soft and who doesn't like her? I have a new post up on devindanelle.com with all of that linked along with a bunch of other items that you could mix and match with this, including a couple of cardigans that would go excellent over this. I'm going to put that link here. Hello there. I figured I would get ready while I chit chatted and just killed two birds with one stone. Um, which, by the way, if you don't prefer watching, you can just tap through. I had somebody say, Nobody likes watching you do your makeup. Just stop. Eight out of ten times every time I come on here, you're doing your makeup. She probably sounded like that. Anyways, I wanted to tell you this. Deb and I were talking and she was pointing out one of my toxic traits and she was pointing it out because I finally did something about it and you'll understand whenever I go further. But I wondered, I'm the only one that I know that does this. She doesn't do this, I do it. And it drives me nuts, but I still do it. I do this all the time, so this is one example that you'll be able to not have to listen to a very long story. So I have a laptop that is a Mac, and it is at least, I'm guessing, 20 years old. It's been um, repaired just a few times, and every time I take it in, if I need something done to it, I always say, should I get a different one? They're like, no, you have one of the really old good ones. Do not. Also keep in mind, I have a desktop too. So I have two places that I can work. But if I want to use my laptop, I have to sit with it plugged in. So if I want to go outside, I have to do, you know the whole drill. And it's a pain. And Deb is like, why don't you just take it in and get it fixed? My toxic trait is, uh, it doesn't, it, I, it doesn't matter. I can just use it plugged in. So in short, like I said on the last screen, Deb takes care of her irritations immediately. Like if she's like, this doesn't work, I'm not dealing with this, she takes it in. Not I, I walk around for six months just going, it's okay, it's okay. It, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Then when I have 27 things <laughs> that I'm walking around going, it's okay, it do, it's okay, and I'm standing there trying to work with a tinfoil hat on and a, an extra antenna and doing three twirls then I'm like what why am I doing this? and let me also say I don't complain about it so it's not like I complain about it because if I did I would hear myself I just walk around with <laughs> the irritation inside of me there's some probably big diagnosis for that um I, I just can't stand that about myself. I can't. It's like, I don't know if it's a time thing that I just don't want to take the time and do something about it. But this morning, I like had all of this for lots of different things. And I finally sat down and took care of it. And it's like, why didn't I just do this from the very beginning? Why? 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 I don't get it. 
my list is going to get added to today though. I'm gonna go sit down and I'm gonna write out everything that's making me mad. No, not even making me mad, irritating me. Simple, quick fixes can lessen the irritation, but instead I walk around just being irritated with lots of things, but not really irritated, just inside going, just don't, just don't think about it, just, just leave it alone. Anyways, that's that. That's one of my toxic traits. I have many, but that's one. Um, <laughs> it's so dumb. But what Deb and I were talking about on our walk today. So we were talking. Uh, one of my friends sent me pictures from the dental office, our dental office days. And I, she texted them to me, and I looked at those. And I don't even remember any of that. Like, I asked Deb, did you? She said, I, I, I like, no. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I remember working at the dental office. I remember being there. I remember what it looks like. But some of those little snapshots of your life, it's amazing to me that after only 20 some years, you can't even remember the shirt you were wearing. Like you're, you're like, I, I don't even remember that shirt. Do you know what I mean? I think that is craziness. And I guess back to like both stories. Um, Deb told me, why didn't you tell me about your battery on your laptop? Because I can change that for you. I changed it the last time and I don't remember. While you guys are on Kohl's shopping, their mattress pads are on major, major sale. I'm going to put the one here that we have. If you have a janky mattress, I swear by this. And so do tons of you. I've shared it for years. I got a couple of questions about this shirt. And it's actually the brand that I wanted to share. It's called Top Shelf. Top <laughs> Top Shelf. What was I saying? Top Shot? Anyways, Top Shelf. I'm gonna tag them here and I did get you a code. I ordered a few things and I asked for one and they gave one to me. D and D will get you, I believe it's 15% off, but this shirt is so cute. It is a lightweight sweater, so perfect for now. Obviously neutral stripes, which I love. It's longer in the back, so you could wear it with um, leggings. It's got these three buttons here with the fringe. I love it. I also grabbed this like creamy colored sweater. I have it over a tank top. Uh, this would look really cute over a dress as well. This is really pretty. I will link this. I have absolutely no clue how many of these are in stock, but these are, I, I like, think this is the coolest thing. It's like a coat duster type thing in this olive green. It has pockets buttons all the way down, has the little pockets here in the front, collar. It is a medium weight. It's not really, really heavy, but it's not really thin. So this is perfect for fall. I think this is adorable. We're making dinner with our Cook's Venture um, chicken. What are you looking at? Your shoes. <laughs> she was going like this around the bar. Um, and my, they still have that excellent deal. So I'm going to put my link here. So tap through this and you can get $50 off plus free shipping. And um, if you've already purchased from them before, returning customers can get $20 off plus free shipping. And that is the chicken that we love so much. It's so tender and it's just really delicious. Um, and it's that special breed that I've talked about. It's called the Pioneer. It's so good. I'm going to give my bride a tour of what I've got accomplished today. Okay. Because she was stuck inside on the computer all day. Ow. Ah, what is that? <laughs> I started my day off at Rule King and I bought myself a funnel. That's you know what that's for? Your gas. It's because when I put diesel in the skid loader, I have to lift. Above my head and hit a hole this big. So yeah. Okay, that's one thing. 
She yeah. always gets some of the most fun prices. I bought starter fertilizer for my new grass area. Yes. I got the straw put down, the fertilizer put down, and it better grow within 10 days. I'm just telling you. Yes, <laughs> so this was always really low here. So she added more dirt and then planted the grass seed and then just put the straw down. And more exciting news. What did you buy? What is that? And I didn't ask for permission. I thought I would ask for forgiveness if I needed to. <laughs> Are you mad? For, for that trimmer? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to break something else to me. <laughs> Whoa, I see some more. I see some more work she did. You leveled out that big pile of dirt. It looked like this. It's actually a little soon for it, but we have enough. Settles yeah, we can. I would just rather it look nice. This looks way. You did that too. I love that. She used some of our concrete here. Deb has her tomato picked out that she's going to eat tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that must be it. I think it's one of the hybrids or whatever. Yeah. The yellow one. Yeah, because that look is at this. right. What's going on here? I know. Look at all these tomatoes. I've got to pick these tomorrow. Have to. Some of them are not ripe, but some of them are. <laughs>